Are you a little sick of hearing about the FCC? Net neutrality? Wearing you down? The NSA is just boring at this point? That's why I made this episode. It's July 18th, I'm Daria. It's the Redheaded Geek Show. <laughs> So I have some cats. We have three actually and one of them we call her Pikachu. Yes, seriously. She likes to greedily trot over to the other cat's bowls of delicious dinner and eat all of it once she's done with hers. She's really fast and kind of chunky. The problem is these other bowls of food don't belong to her. So what could we do about this? I'll tell you what I can do about it. A new Indiegogo campaign for a Taiwanese company called 42 Arc came up with an idea to have facial recognition technology on a cat feeder to dispense a predetermined amount of food for each cat. It's a smart cat feeder, the smartest I've seen so far. It's called the Bistro and it also knows how to not refeed the same cat. We would definitely need that. <laughs> It's able to monitor how much food and water your cat has. You can even set it to hand out small quantities at a time so your cat can gobble, not throw up, digest a little, and gobble a little more. Oh yeah, my personal favorite. Mm -hmm. You can set up live streaming feeding sessions to be like a crazy cat lady and watch your animals eat while you're at work or on the go. This is totally awesomely genius. It's also a social network. You can use the device to create a profile for your cat where feeding history and photos can be posted. Streaming my cat's every movement is a little much, so that part's not for me, but it might be for you. I don't know. Robotic assistants don't seem to catch on. I mean, the Roomba sure is amazing, but for little bots that sit on your desk and try to talk to you, I feel like they haven't really reached beyond lame yet. How about this little robot that looks kind of like a one-eyed lamp? He is Jibo, and he is here to interact with you and be a part of your family. He was created by Cynthia Breezel, a social robotics pioneer, and this guy wants to help humanize technology, which could end up being the first family robot. Jibo can scan you using facial recognition. He can take orders by voice, take a photo, read you a text, play you a voicemail. He's pretty intuitive. Out of the box, he comes with educational, photography, entertainment, and communication applications. Am I cynical? I think of the NSA when I think of anything that can follow me around and stare at me, understand what I'm talking about, and look at my children. My husband would like it if it had Scarlett Johansson's voice built in. Why must they overlook the super easy ways to sell stuff like this? The keyboardless keyboard. An invention that keeps my skepticism going. Don't we have enough annoyance having to type at all as it is? If it were up to me, my computer would use my brain waves to know what to type. I could shop for days trying to find the right keyboard with the perfect feeling keys at the perfect height and perfect shape and still be annoyed to type. Don't get me wrong, it's not that hard and you can get used to it, but it's super inefficient at times. Backspace, backspace, backspace. The solution to this issue, get rid of the keyboard. An Austin-based startup is designing AirType, a prototype that has you wear two bands on your palms and use nothing as your space to type on. Nothing. The trick is the software inside that tracks your finger movements to detect which keys you're striking or would strike. I'd take my clickety buttons over nothing at all. Would you? This is super short, but here's a Nerf gun with a built-in camera and a small LCD display so you can show everyone the epic shots that you just pulled off. There is absolutely nothing else to say about this. It's just really awesome. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I always read them and click the like button if you liked this episode and subscribe to the channel if you want to catch Red Hay Geek Show every Friday. See you there. Thank <laughs> you.